I believe we are streaming now. If we are not streaming, I'm sorry. Hey guys, welcome to NetLinked Daily Live. Take two. Well, we've done it before. Take, take one? Well, it really doesn't take like three or four, but anyways. Yes. It's the live stream again. Oh gosh. Yes, we're taking another swipe at it today, today guys. This time we're gonna have more verve though. Verve? Yes, verve. That's right. It's NetLink Daily. Uh, today we are going to go over today's top tech stories quickly, then go into more discussion on even more topics after that. To the intro! That's not the intro. This is the intro. Office 365. Get work done anytime, anywhere, and on any device. In addition to one terabyte of OneDrive storage, also receive 60 Skype World Minutes per month to over 60 countries. Hey, there was Linus, just for fun. Ah, oh, so professional. Man, we got that intro down now. Yep. Okay, first story of the day, just like regular Netlink, we're gonna get right into it. So, Apple, everyone's favorite company, especially among our audience, they may be uh, developing their own search engine. Yes, as ridiculous as this sounds, they didn't uh, think they got beaten bad enough when they did maps and everyone hated that. <sighs> uh, so now they're gonna aim to develop a search engine. They posted a job uh, opening <clears throat> that asked for a project manager to work on a search platform supporting hundreds of millions of users. Because that's how many people are gonna use the search engine over Google immediately. Uh, it's unlikely that they're looking to d compete directly with Google search, that's what analysts are saying. Um, because what are they gonna do, like applesearch.com instead of google.com? That just sounds stupid, okay? Not as stupid as apple juice. I don't understand, where, what is that joke? I don't get that. <laughs> I don't know, I okay. just it It's up. likely that they'll bake the search into their existing uh, products like Safari and Spotlight and, and OS X, not OS X, OS X Mavericks. Um, so that's what it seems like, I mean, because uh, that would be kind of dumb for them to try and make their own search engine. But in also Apple News, um, vans, mysterious white vans. No, just, I think they're black. Black vans equipped with uh, cameras and sensors that are registered to Apple, <coughs> the, the vans are. They're seen driving around California and possibly New York, uh, unconfirmed sightings in New York. Um, and people are kind of freaking out because they're like, is Apple developing self-driving cars? But. As popular science notes, let me just uh, go to the um, the story here. Popular science says they're probably not uh, self-driving cars. They're probably collecting map data. But what I but what this makes me think of is that popular science is popular. What else is popular, Jack? This show. No, no, it's not Apple. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Apple is. So I don't know. We'll see what kind of shenanigans Apple gets into. <clears throat> On to the next story. And in cell phone news, the Samsung Galaxy S6 chassis has been leaked once again. If you remember last month, not last month, because that would have been two months ago. In December on Boxing Day, we did a news story about the first leaked image of the Samsung Galaxy S6. Now this time we have a more full <coughs> uh, rendered chassis thing. And it honestly, Looks like an iPhone 6. Yeah, uh, it I'm, looks a, a I'm, lot. A, I'm a little bit disappointed. I Actually, mean. this is, I think this is an <clears throat> iPhone 6 for comparison. And then this is the Galaxy S6. Mmm. Purportedly. Yeah. I mean, that port there looks like it could be USB Type C, but who knows? These are still really early leaks. Uh, rumors are saying that this phone should be ready by March 1st, but this is all speculation. I'm kind of disappointed that they've gone stri straight away from the removable battery because it seems like this chassis will be won't have that is that confirmed that there's no <coughs> removable battery it's all speculation still but judging from the renders of the chassis they're saying that <coughs> there won't be a back cover that's replaceable also this guy took the time out mm. of his day to take the prototype go to the men's washroom and snap pictures of it, because that photo right there, that clearly is a toilet. Yes, that is a toilet. In Asia <laughs> Yes. Well, I mean, it does look different than the iPhone 6, but I mean, also the exact same. <laughs> yeah. So. All right, on to the next story. Um, is, it, is it Alibaba? It's Alibaba. 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 It, is that even on here? I didn't put it on there. 
Oh, that's unfortunate. Anyways, let's go back to camera then. Alibaba is apparently going to beat Amazon to drone delivery. If you're not familiar with Alibaba, they're basically a bigger and better Amazon. Well, uh, I wouldn't really say better. Okay, well, maybe not better, but, but they're definitely huge still. Oh, here's the article here. Let's just let me grab it. Anyways, they are beating um, Amazon. Amazon to drone delivery. They're going to start a trial in, uh, in China that is going to last three days. It's going to be limited to areas that are one hour away from their distribution centers. Um, so not everybody, it's just a limited trial. They're gonna deliver 340 grams of ginger tea only for the trial. So if you wanna order something else for the trial, nope, you, you, gotta, you better like ginger tea because that's all they're delivering. Uh, there is a promo video actually that I'm going to play here. Yeah, here we go. So this is a promo video. I don't know if you're getting sound with it too. I'm just gonna turn the sound off because who wants to hear that? So um, yeah, there's a promo video and it unfortunately, I think it skips the part where the drone actually lands and delivers the tea <clears throat> to the girl. Like there's the drone, there's the tea, it's going in the box there. Oh, what is that? It has a jet engine? No, that was the Bunsen burner for the tea, I think. Oh. Someone's preparing. Oh, she's getting the tea ready while yeah. the drone is yeah, also coming. She's boiling the water. There we go. Maybe I'll turn the volume down on that. There it goes. Oh man, man, this editing though, right? Okay, so there's the drone. I skipped ahead there. It's coming in. Man, they really, oh, here it comes. Okay, so now it's coming into land. Yep, here's the parking lot. And oh, we're landing and oh, she's got the tea box. <laughs> she suddenly got the tea already. So it, it remains to be seen uh, how they are gonna figure out the transferring from the drone with spinning blades of death as it comes in and hands the tea to the person. But um, I, I figure that's the most important part. <coughs> On that topic, that's today's question of the day. So we're gonna give you guys a question of the day and you can tweet us what you think. Uh, the question of the day is, would you trust dr drones to deliver things to you? Uh, especially with the uh, occurrence of other drones that are coming to hunt those drones. We reported on that a while ago. They drop a line of things into the drone to kill it. Anyways, would you want to do that? So tweet me at NCIX Keys. At NCIX Jack. If you, uh, if you want to weigh in on that, and then we'll look at the tweets <coughs> near the end of the, uh, of the stream. Yes. Next story. <clears throat> and in video game news, Battlefield Hardline Beta launched yesterday. That's right, it will go from February 3rd to the 8th like we reported last time. And guess what, yours truly and his co-host and Anthony, mm -hmm. Anthony all played last night and we had a blast. Uh, they are still all available for all major platforms, PC, PS4, PS3, Xboxes, Xboxes. <laughs> Xbox One and Xbox 360. <clears throat> they added a new map and a new uh, game mode co called Hotwire where you're basically playing cops and robbers in cars. Did you play that one? Uh, no. I played a bit more because we didn't play that when we did the, the, the stream, but, but uh, I played at home a bit more. And the Hotwire one, maybe it was just lame because there was only like, there were like 10 people in the whole game. Oh, okay. So, and there were like five cars, in the, or six cars <laughs> in the whole map, so it's like, Almost everybody was in a car just driving around. You basically, the, instead of capture points, the cars are the capture points. So you have to go in the car and then you have to keep driving. If you stop it, it tells you to go faster. But yeah, anyways, Hardline, when we played last night, we've seen the, a lot smoother. It's a, a somewhat of a different experience than Battlefield 4 was, yeah. especially uh, during uh, death scenes, I guess. Like yeah. the post-death credits, or not credits, like the the screen where you can see where you got hit and like... Right, yeah, it's kind of like a kill cam. Using. Yeah, a kill cam. It shows where the cam. guy, like <clears throat> like in Battlefield uh, 4, it just shows the outline of where he is, but yeah. this one is just like, is literally right on him. But yeah, we played that last night. If you want to go watch that, uh, it's actually going to be on our uh, Twitch channel. Mm -hmm. It's actually up right now, right? Yeah, actually, yeah. it's in our past broadcast. <clears throat> so if you, the same channel you're watching this on right now, if you're watching it uh, live, it'll be uploaded to YouTube later, so... If, it, if you want to see it, it's in, if, it's, if you're watching on YouTube, the link's in the description. Or we could annotate it right here if we want to. If we feel like it. Yeah. 
Anyways, yeah, so Battlefield Hardline was fun. Um, we are looking to stream some more in the future, but uh, you guys should definitely go check it out because it's available to everybody. So, I mean, it's free. It's only, I think it's an 11 gig download or yes. something. So, you got nothing to lose other than if you have like a bandwidth cap or something. Speaking of bandwidth caps, uh, we'll talk about uh, the FCC after that. But that's pretty much it for the rapid fire uh, version. <clears> I think <throat> it, it wasn't super rapid fire, but uh, we we're starting to get along there. So, yeah, that's it for the rapid fire version. If you want to keep watching, we're going to keep discussing a few more topics that we didn't think were as pertinent. But, uh, yeah. So there you go. Yeah, leave a comment down, down below, guys. <laughs> what, what did you think of today's stream? <clears throat> we read through all your comments last time, and we were like, uh, yeah, we totally uh, dropped the ball last time in terms of keeping the topic short and uh, on, on topic. Well, you know what? We didn't even mention the, the reload animation Easter eggs. Well, that can be in the... That can be in okay, the, uh, perfect. That can be our starting point. Okay, starting point for the now extended uh, stream. Version, yeah. So apparently, people uh, found these Easter eggs in Hardline. Hardline, yeah. and we, we have the videos here. I'll play them. Um, <laughs> I really like the first one. Yeah, the first one and the last okay, one. Okay, so I really let's like. just take a look at the first one because why not? Uh, Hardline one. So here's a guy. He's shooting oh, no, at this a. This is um, the first one I saw. This is. Oh no one. no they're okay yeah. Oh, what? Using the force? <laughs> I like how he grips it and he's like, and yeah. he's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like, grips the air. <laughs> so, yeah, apparently this is an Easter egg that they put in the game. There's a couple more. Um, there's an Easter egg that they put in. Oh, that guy's like trying to get the RPG and then he throws and just, it up. Just hugs it. Yep. Let's, let's do that again from the beginning. Um, apparently, this is an Easter egg that you get one, you have a chance, one in 10,000 chance of getting this animation when you reload. Yeah. Um, but you have to have a completely empty magazine to right. do so. So you can't do a partial reload. Do you, so, have the, do you have the third one now? Yeah, the third one. Okay, here we go. This one was my favorite. Is it going to play? Yep. Oh, oh, it didn't start here. I'll start from the beginning. Whoosh. So this guy's shooting. He's Somebody out. just hands him a magazine. What a nice guy. <laughs> just random guy. <laughs> <laughs> an I don't know magazine. if the sound's playing on this one, but... The guy says while he's handing it to him, he's like, yo, man! And then that zoom up, they play the uh, X-File uh, theme. Okay, apparently we're having an inconsistent stream. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, tell Julia to stop downloading porn. You know, it's a constant problem. It's, she just, she can't stop. But <laughs> just throwing her under the bus. Oh, and then this guy says no problems on his side, so he thinks it's Twitch. It's probably Twitch! We've worked so hard. Anyways, this was a cool thing. I, I, I really want to see those. Uh, yeah, but one in 10,000? Yeah. That's going to take a while. Well, I think it's crazy. I guess this is just people who were playing and they re were recording themselves and they happened to catch it. Yeah. So I mean, for, for, for me them. personally, I, I have a practice of shoot, reload, shoot, and not shoot, 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 shoot until it's empty. Right. And then reload. Because you never know when you're going to need a full clip. There's so a that's, that's my... I like tactical reloads. Yeah. Tactical reloads. That's what they're called. Do, 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 do. Tactical reload. With the force. There's a few times when I'm like just unloading on like a vehicle or something and then I have to reload. But that's like the, f I mean, yeah, normally I'll like shoot and then after I get a kill or after I get to cover or something, I'll reload. You know, when I'm like, <clears throat> you know, being super tactical. You know how this uh, all started though, right? How did it start? The uh, Unica, the revolver pistol in Battlefield 4 mm -hmm. with the expansion. Yeah. They had an Easter egg for that one as well. It was like a guy uh, daintily reloading his revolver. Mm -hmm. Like he would open it up and he like had his pinky up and put it in a new Oh really? And like flicked it off. <laughs> so uh, in, in uh, homage to that, I guess, uh, the, the designer put in some more Easter eggs in uh, Hardline for people to find. Yeah, apparently there is... Um Apparently there are more, like, there's only, they, you know, PC Gamer, this article, they've only posted three, I think it's yeah. the AK-47 and the whatever assault rifle that is in the RPG. Oh, and then this is an interview with the, with the creator, if you guys want to take a look at that later. We'll post the links. Uh, we're still figuring out how to post the links, but if you search PC Gamer Battlefield Hardline Easter Eggs, you'll find it. What are you doing? Um, apparently there's an Easter Egg animation like that for a lot of different guns in the game, so... Uh, go out and find them. Continuing on the... Uh, oh, you're showing me? Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> He's like daintily... See, just... that's no fair, though, because they can't see it. <coughs> okay, moving oh, on to uh, other stories. <coughs> so, 
like what I was saying earlier with the bandwidth cap. So the FCC, if you guys have been paying any attention to this uh, recently, the uh, people who have been arguing for Title II classification for ISPs, which means basically that they'll become regulated utilities, like like telephone or, or electricity or water. Mm -hmm. So that is actually happening. We reported on this yesterday. The FCC is proposing Title II rules on Thursday, tomorrow, uh, to the commissioners, and then the commissioners vote on it February 26th. So what that means is that they will not be able to um, throttle speeds. Fast lanes, obviously, won't happen. They won't be able to, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe there still will be bandwidth caps, but there will be rules related to bandwidth caps. I know that for sure. I don't know whether they'll be abolished. But the cool thing is that that will be also applied to mobile. Oh. So like on your, um, uh, I think Verizon, I don't want to get this wrong. One of the ISPs, I think it was Verizon, maybe not. Um, when people reach their bandwidth caps, they would throttle their speed. So it'd be, oh no, it was unlimited. I think it was Verizon Unlimited. So it was like, oh, unlimited. But then you, once you reached a certain point, it was like deathly slow. So that won't happen with these new rules, apparently. Um, lawsuits of plenty are incoming, though. Verizon uh, already sued them uh, before this, I think in November or something. Um, and the AT&T AT is also prepping their lawsuit. So. I think there's an article. Uh, oh, I'm still on the old. Um, I'm still on this article right here. I'll get the new one up. <clears throat> I think uh, there was an article where it showed a picture of Tom Wheeler, and he said, "We we will get sued" or something. So that was pretty funny. I think this is it. Maybe not though. Um, lag. You can't even see it right now. Net neutrality wins. Huzzah! Okay. What else is there? I think that's pretty much it to say, to say about that. Lawsuits are incoming, but good news on the Title II side. Microsoft. Yes. You took a look at this because you did, uh, <coughs> Jack did the briefly. Windows 10 technical preview. Uh, Microsoft launches a universal office uh, preview, touch preview for Windows 10. Basically, it's Word, Excel, and PowerPoint all touch friendly for uh, smaller uh, devices, well, devices with smaller screens, but since I didn't have a touchscreen notebook to play with, I just uh, <laughs> didn't I, I, I have it downloaded, and I'll probably hook up our touchscreen to it later and check it out. But uh, it's definitely interesting to see the direction that uh, Microsoft is willing to go to try and bring, <coughs> make Windows 10 more "quote unquote" universal. Yeah, so this especially is especially sort of, for mobile users. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, that's their deal, right? They're trying to make everything universal. Yeah. Which is like, that's what they said about Windows 8, too. So it's really like... But then Windows 8 happened and everybody was... It's true. Ah. I think maybe this is, this is what they do, though. They, they release a crappy one, <clears throat> and then they figure stuff out, sort of, and then they release a better one. I feel like they don't do that on purpose every time, though. It just happens that way. No, of course not. Of course not. But, I mean, well, there's a video there. I mean, there... I feel like there's only so much Microsoft can do. I feel like they're trying really hard to push this Windows 10 thing and, like make Windows phones like a thing as well. You know what I mean? Like everybody has either an iOS or Android phone. I mean, no offense to anybody who does have a <laughs> I mean, a no one phone. has a Windows phone. Let's I mean, for a few guys. select few people who do, you know, um, I don't think you'll they'll ever be on the same level in terms of getting app support mm -hmm. like iOS or Android does just yeah. because there's always been I mean, that's just the way it is. Yeah. But maybe, like, if they're making universal apps, then they don't need to worry about, oh, someone making something specifically for Windows Phone. Yeah. I think that's kind of the, I think this is a better approach. Because they're, they're putting this out, and now apparently it's a universal, touch-friendly uh, office. It's 2016 office that will, this is a long video. I, I, just, I just played it. I haven't watched this video. It's a universal office, 2016 version, that will, um, Apparently, work on desktop, tablets, uh, phones. So that's that's the dream, according to Microsoft. But we'll have to see whether it actually gets implemented correctly. Bob, Bobby that, McClarkson in the chat says, "LOL, BlackBerry." <laughs> LOL, BlackBerry. Oh, BlackBerry, how you've fallen better... so far in such a short period of time. Is there a better? No, there's not a better. No, that, was, that was the only one. That's <clears> 
That's the only one. Is there anything else to say about that topic? Moving on. Moving on. Oh, sorry, I was gonna say that it joins um, Office Touch for iOS and Android. Yes. So that was a big thing. Out. That was a big thing that Microsoft is like, oh, we're launching Office Touch. Uh, the, you know, it's like the full version basically, and it's for iOS and Android, but it wasn't for Windows Phone, which is kind of weird. Which is your own phone, Microsoft. So it's still not out on Windows Phone technically. It's on the technical preview, which yes. you can preview on a laptop, which Jack has on that one. Yes. But it's not touch, so nope. it's not. We'll have to fiddle with that. Maybe we'll do a video on that. That would be cool. Mm. Mm. Now, this is something interesting. Um, I don't think I put this, uh, this link in the... Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Okay, so this <coughs> is an Android PC. Mm. Yeah, I think it's on there. Okay. Oh, no, I'm just... Okay, cool. Yeah. This is an Android PC that is in a keyboard. Um, it's basically, basically the deal is it's a, it's a, oh, where's my mouse? It's, it's an actual PC built into the keyboard. So. Yeah, I mean, it's more like a tablet, right? <clears throat> yeah, well, I mean, you hook up things to it and then it's 300 bucks. It uses uh, apparently Cherry MX black switches, mm -hmm. which is really interesting. Oh, black? Yeah, black I switches. I didn't see the black, I just saw I mean, Cherry MX. <clears throat> black switches, uh, it's apparently backlit uh, quad core chip. You can, they're apparently, Upgrades you can do for it. I mean, that's kind of on that picture is Chinese, but anyways, that picture is Chinese. <coughs> well, it's well it says USB, SD, HDMI. Yeah. I have the specs written down here actually. So it's got a rock chip ARM Cortex uh, A17 quad core processor. I don't really know a lot about mobile CPUs, so I don't know whether that's good, but it sounds good. I mean, for, for <laughs> what it is, for uh, KitKat, it, yeah. should, it, should be, it should be up there. Running KitKat. Uh, yeah. It's got a Mali. Uh, T seventy T oh, T seven six four graphics chip yeah, GPU. Two uh, apparently that one will support four K. Oh, so okay, yeah. So this is actually something that could that could uh, <clears throat> potentially be really useful. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Two gigs of RAM, sixteen gigs of storage. Uh, it's got an SD slot, HDMI output, DVI input, which is weird that those are uh, specified as such. Uh, headphone jack, two USB two point oh ports. Uh, 802.11 BGN Wi-Fi, and as well as Bluetooth 4.0 and uh, Android 4.4 KitKat, as we said previously. So, I mean, this is actually something that that I mean, you got you got your little PCs coming out all over the place. Like Intel just revealed their Compute Stick, which was uh, it's like a it's like a the size of a flash drive or like a large. Yeah, and dongle. Then we we talked about Raspberry Pi 2 the other day. I'm gonna say large dongle a few more times in the stream just to see how that. Don't. <laughs> Twitch sucks because no option for quality and I'm lagging. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. Uh, I don't know if that's us or you. We'll have to, we'll have to do some investigating after the fact. But um, yeah, so this actually looks kind of interesting. I mean, the Raspberry, 2, uh, Raspberry Pi 2 just came out yesterday. So that's 35 bucks with a Windows license, hopefully. Yeah. There well, was... it's, it's, it's free. I think if you have it, there's a certain procedure you go through and yeah. you get it. Yeah, there was yeah. something about Windows doing a deal with people who bought Raspberry Pi 2, so you get a free Windows 10 with it when it comes out. And it's 35 bucks. So there's that. Or you could buy, I think it's like, what is this retailing for? 300, I think? 300? Around 300 bucks. Do, 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 do. Yeah, for under 300 at sites that export Chinese products internationally. So that's, a, that's pretty cool. We should actually contact <coughs> them about like selling an NCIX. That would be a really cool product. <coughs> it would. Yeah. It certainly would. Um, yeah, okay. Do you want to say anything else about the um, previous topics? Look, the apple juice comment. I just... I, you need to explain <laughs> that because I don't understand. I just thought it was funny because they have all these products, you know, the iMac, iPod, iPad, and everything, and now it's like, how come they've never gone off and played off their own name? Like, clearly Apple is a fruit. So why not name something uh, something the apple juice? Yeah, I don't I know, mean, man. <laughs> I'm trying not to make a, a comment. No, no, no. That was <laughs> nothing. <laughs> we'll talk. Uh, um, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I think they're trying to get away from the like. I think they're looking at Apple not as like an actual apple now. They're looking at it as like a apple. Oh, is that the fruit? No, 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 no. Shh, apple. Shh. 
So, but so you just said apple juice because you were playing off the fact that it's a fruit. Yeah. I thought it had something like there was a pun, like juice, like news juice. No, no, it's I don't because know. apple Sometimes apple juice. I have trouble getting into Jackson. Apple sauce. I don't know. What These about <laughs> what? Do you, what is that? I don't know. They need to name something the applesauce. Oh dear. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, uh, now not really anything to say about the uh, the the apple thing. <laughs> but the Alibaba thing I find very interesting. <clears throat> because like, <coughs> oh yeah, wait, let's look at the tweets. That's that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah. There you go. I mean, I'm surprised that uh, China has l less restrictive um, regulations when it comes to drones in the air versus the U.S. I mean, that was the whole thing about having drones in the US was, you know, you can't have it at this height or like, you can't do this with it. Or yeah. You can't do that. China just, doesn't uh, give a crap. Apparently. They're like, fly your drones everywhere. We don't care. UK though. Also cares a lot. One hour away from their distribution centers, like one hour by drone. And how fast is the drone going? Or is it one hour by foot? Is it one hour by car? That's true. The one hour thing. Because an I, hour by of... car is a far distance. And to fly that with a drone. Yeah. That was definitely, um, that definitely was like stuck in my brain because I'm like, yeah, it's an hour, hour away. What does that mean? I mean, it must be an hour by drone. Which is like, but how do you even measure that? Like drone, I don't remember a drone lasting for an hour. Oh. Hmm? Oh yeah. So I guess if, if it's an like hour away by time? car, drones would get there faster. But an hour? Depends on whether it's like a highway or something. An hour? <laughs> an hour? That's 60 minutes. Oh, no. I don't know if you know math, but that's 60 minutes. 60, <coughs> yeah, wow, one hour, what the? Um, I'm, I'm guessing if it's like an hour by car, yeah. I mean, because I, I didn't even know what that meant, because like yeah, that's like. That's the one thing that stuck into me. My, if it's an hour head. by car, I'm assuming that most areas where there's a distribution center would probably not have like a freeway from it going everywhere. So. A drone would probably be faster just because it doesn't have to wait at traffic lights and doesn't have to do the twisty turns of the roads, just go straight. So I mean, what if the battery dies halfway through? True. You uh, never I mean, know. I guess well, that's why they do these three-day trials. Anyways, check my Twitter. I have the tweets. One tweet. You have one tweet? Just one tweet. I have one tweet too. Oh, but that's thank the same you. Tweet. I have uh, three tweets. Thank you. You know who you are. Guys, <coughs> come on. Tweet us. I mean, whatever. This is the Eric Anderson says, delivery drones don't sound like a good idea. They will become targets and be shot down. Can I put that on screen? And will be shot down. Let's put that on screen. They will be shot down? Really? Yeah. You think they're going to be shot down? Well, I mean, depends how high they are in terms. Hmm. Like, you could probably shoot one down with, a, with some sort of weapon. That's my phone going in case you were confused. He's, he's got to turn off his notifications. Someone, yeah. Um, are you going to shoot them down, Eric Anderson? That's my question. <laughs> because once these drones... Did you see that drone? The, the, like, like, we reported on that. The drone that takes down other drones. With the rope? With the rope. It goes above <laughs> another drone. Let me unwind... drops a rope into it, and then it'll be like... <laughs> let, let me unwind some string into your propeller so yeah. you die. And it's like, that's probably not legal. I mean, I'm actually really excited about this. Like, where drones are going to be flying everywhere, are there just going to be crazy people all the time with guns or, like, BBs or something or whatever, right? You can just... I mean, they won't have anything heavy to carry hmm? at first. Because obviously, like we saw, they only deliver 340 right. grams of ginger tea. Yeah, but, like, think in, like, three or four years. Like, this whole drone... Yeah, but think about if you order something super big, like, super heavy... Imagine a how fridge. big the, well not let's say a, a computer tower, just the chassis. Think about how big the drone will be to have to carry that weight. Okay, but I 100% would never order a PC case by, by drone. You say that now, but they're offering free drone shipping. <laughs> when they Look. make the drones like the size of the like evil helicopter things in the Terminator, yes. E. And then we'll have bigger problems on our hands because then we'll have giant drones the size of the helicopter things in Terminator. Also, it's Eric Anderson is planted chicken in the Twitch chat. Just FYI, guys. Planted chick? What? Planted chicken. Eric Anderson. That's, that's oh. who tweeted me. Yeah, there you go, planted chicken. Thanks, Eric. Okay, next tweet. Drones on drones on drones. Murray Libovitz. I mean, 
You could put that on screen. I don't know about drones, but here's a tweet. Thank you, Peter Ha. Drones on, drones on, drones! <laughs> it's like racks on racks on racks. Stacks on stacks That deserve to call it anyways. Okay, Brian Walker, you said something. You said, I had a dream that you quit NCX and I got hardware at work. We became friends. That's kind of weird. But also, I'm sure it would be lovely. <laughs> it's funny that he had a dream yeah, what? about you. And oh. the, the other day, I had a dream about you with the, with the, the, the wolf. The Jack had a dream about me, apparently, where I needed a ride home because he was running away from a wolf and he was crying. This is, this is weird. It's weird, man. Yes. Anyways. Are we even... You, they can't even see the camera right now. I thought, I thought we were seeing that on screen. What the heck? That's so weird. Whoops. Well, I didn't post that other one. That's fine. Okay, what is uh, Austin Christic? Oh, this guy's been in the chat a bunch. I want drones giving me my stuff. Hate those shipping companies. Yo! But what if the drone accidentally drops your package? That's what... It, it'll be a lot worse than UPS or Pure Litter or DHL hucking stuff Honestly, over your that's fence. Honestly, that's the biggest obstacle I feel like, <laughs> is the drones actually landing, releasing the stuff, and then leaving without injuring anybody and landing in the, the right spot. Google had a uh, project going on actually where they, it's like a wing, it was like a, we reported on it a while ago. It's basically a, a flying wing design. Yeah. There's propellers in the back, I think. Yep, and then it goes forward like this, and then it goes vertical. The propellers keep it up. It basically turns into a helicopter. And it lowers the package on a string, or on a, on a line, to the ground. It releases the package, brings the, the string back up, and then it flies off. I think that would be a, uh, a reasonable solution. Are we frozen? No, I don't think so. Oh, well, in my thing, it's frozen. I hope we're not frozen. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> um, so that would be, I think that would be the best way to do it. Regular VSG says, which DX racer chairs are you using? I'm using the U series. And I think uh, Keys is using the R series. We can't remember. <coughs> um, yeah, no. I, I honestly, we haven't, we haven't researched the DX Racer chairs enough to actually know what we're sitting on. The guy came and told us, if you're watching this, I don't think he is Neil. probably, but if you, if Neil? I think it was Neil. If you're watching Neil this, I'm really DX sorry. Racer. We're gonna do a whole video on it. We're gonna do a whole video. Uh, I don't know what this is, but it's white, and they have these amazing freaking neck pillows. Like, come on. And adjustable armrests. Like, come on now. And like, I feel, I, I honestly feel bad for you guys watching this because I know you're probably, I mean, maybe you do have amazing chairs and if you do, good on <coughs> you. But like, I just feel bad. Like anytime someone comes up and talks to me and I'm sitting in one of these, it's like, guess what? I'm more comfortable than you. Yeah. So. My buddy that. actually got one of these at, at Costco. He spent like just under $500. Wow. Yeah. Must have been the, the model with the laser guns. It was the model with the armrest where they go sideways as well. Ooh. Lateral movement. Um, what do you guys think about Terminator Genesis? That's not on topic, but I don't think I saw it. What is that? What is Genesis? The new is one. That, oh, that's the new one coming that's out? The new one, yep. Oh, that looks cool. Where, where Daenerys is, uh, is oh, yeah, that's true. Sarah Connor. I didn't recognize her at first with her brunette, uh, brunette hairstyle. Yeah, no, I didn't her recognize blonde, her at all, right? too. I'm like, that looks, I'm like, she she looks, looks kind of familiar. She looks so familiar. Who is that? I've seen her boobs like a million Daenerys. times. Daenerys! What? Come on, it's HBO, it's Game of Thrones. Like, literally every episode she's in. I haven't even <clears> actually... <throat> you know what? That's how much her boobs are in it. <laughs> I haven't even seen... I haven't even seen, like, one full episode. But, like, I've seen clips where it's just, like, boobs. Oh, we're opening this episode. But I have read, I've read Game of Thrones 1, 2, 3, 4. I think I'm a quarter uh, through the fifth one. And it's just, like... I haven't bothered watching the, the, the TV show, because I'm just, like... It's crazy enough. Anyways, Genesis looks good. I like the part where, uh, in the trailer, where Arnold Schwarzenegger's like, you know what, screw it, I'm dive bombing this helicopter with my body. <laughs> and then it blows up, so that'd be cool. Uh... I'd rather take my chances with some random dude driving a truck. Too many problems in flight for me, says Ginger Nation. Yeah, prefer in-store pickup over both. Which is something NCIX does. If you order online, you can pick up at the store. Yeah, I mean... Oh, that's true, yes. NCIX. 
I used to run the uh, pickup desks, so I know all about damn pickup orders. Damn pickups. Um, random dude driving a truck, yeah. I mean, the way you phrase that, though, makes it seem really uh, uncertain. No, like, I, who would, what would you rather have a program, you know, mapped out to bring you something on a map grid, and I'll drop it down and then leave, and you don't have to do human interaction, bleh. You hate that, don't no. you? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Blah. That was satirical. But, uh, or have some random dude driving up in your truck and be like, Hey, here's your package. See, that's why you gotta make, you gotta make and friends like, with your, you gotta make friends with your UPS delivery guy. That's or, true. Or the DHL What's guy. What's your UPS delivery guy's name? Drew. Dang Drew it. sends us packages. That, that was a bluff. I didn't, know, I didn't think you would know. Is Prefer that? in-store pickup, or oh, you already said that. Yes. Eric Anderson, again, no, but someone people are paranoid <laughs> of them spying and they will shoot them. Also, would wind be an issue for the drones? Wind? Yes. Yes? Wind, definitely at higher altitudes. I mean, <clears throat> we're not drone experts, but we know from first-hand experience <laughs> that we, uh, <laughs> wind can be a problem for drones. We used to have a uh, DJI Phantom. They were gracious enough to send us one. And uh, we were inexperienced. We thought we knew everything. We didn't go through the DGI training program mm. and follow the instructions. And we just decided to go willy-nilly and start piloting in the uh, back lot of the studio. Anyways, long story short, I almost crashed and Keys definitely scratched. Yes, I definitely crashed it and I broke one of the rotors. Propellers, not Propellers, rotors. sorry. What? What's a rotor then? It's a propeller, you broke the propeller. What's the, the rotor? The rotor is the rotor. I don't the know motor. about machines. It's the propeller that snapped off. Okay. Yeah. I think the rotor is like part of the actual mechanism that rotates mm -hmm. it. Well, you know, but, science, whatever. But you know, DGI includes spare propeller, so okay. it's all good. We'll do a couple more tweets here. I, uh, e. Gordon Ad says, I'm wondering how far is your office from Linus HQ? Pretty, Pretty far. far. Yeah, I mean, we're in the lower mainland area in Vancouver. I mean, we're in Richmond. We've said that before. Linus is way out. In the boonies. The boonies. <laughs> Murray so, Lebowitz, Leb Lebowitz says, I'll take a drone over my UPS guy getting bitten by my dog. Well, Murray. Oh, you just saw that one. Maybe you should not train your dog to bite the UPS guy? <laughs> it's probably a good idea. Burglars and bad guys, yes. UPS delivery men, no. Actually, you know what? I think if I wasn't doing this, I would want to work as some sort of courier. Really? And like try and change the industry from within. Wow. You're a real, you're a real revolutionary. No, just change it from within. <laughs> change what, like attitudes? Attitudes, delivery time. You know, like I know they're all about trying to deliver things on time, but I can't have some D-bag from Canada Post and knock on my door once and like leave a tag and not wait for someone to answer answer the door like right sometimes people are in the washroom when you knock on their door and they gotta <laughs> you know wipe wash their hands and then pull up their pants not in that order oh and then that, hey. go and sorry continue. get the door like you knock once and then you leave like the f <laughs> <laughs> i guess i haven't i haven't really shipped that much stuff to my to my personal abode I've only, like, we have a mailbox in the States, yeah. so sometimes I ship stuff to there, and then That's because the it's other thing. cheaper to ship to the States when you're shipping from the it's States It's so expensive to sometimes, Canada. and then you gotta pay for customs and duties, and ah. Yeah, so it's, it's really easy to ship to a mailbox just south of the border, and then I go down and pick it up and pay duties. Sure do. Yeah. Um, I didn't realize Edsel's in the chat. Yeah, he is. Diesel, Diesel the intern. He says they're on a farm. So we have farm animals. If you're wondering all where Linus place. HQ is, we're in the civilized part, sort of, and they are on a farm with farm animals. Not saying anything about it, bad about people on farms. That was a joke. Farm animals all over the place. So that's a problem for drones. For drones to come land and like kill your cow. Like <laughs> what? So if you live on a farm and you have farm animals, probably don't. Oh, we're not even done yet. Come on. Oh, you, they can't even see that. <laughs> uh, but thank you. 
Thank you, uh, NCX Wheels, he just commented. Um, yeah, if you're on a phone, farm with, dro with, with cows, don't, don't order from drones. That's probably a bad idea. Um, you says Zed like we British. Okay, now we're, now we're getting too many. <coughs> okay, I think we're I gonna end see, it. I don't see these things. Do you want to build a snowman? Okay, now you guys are just trolling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna call it. Um, thank you for watching. One more. Peter Howe asks, if you could have all your stuff delivered by drone for free forever, would you? Pardon? If you could have a free drone deliveries forever, would you pick drone over traditional truck drivers? Free drones forever. Um, free drone deliveries forever. Free, whatever drone I want, I can have any drone I want. No, no, free drones to deliver you. Like if I like wanted a DJI Inspire a Parrot. To deliver things to you. Okay. Free drone deliveries. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, why not? It's free. There you go. I mean, like, if you ship, if you buy something and then you, you know, you know, you choose to ship it by drone, you're taking a risk, I, I guess. With all the services that do that nowadays, I guess in the future I'm talking about. But if it's free and they're like, yeah, as long as they cover the cost if it's damage or whatever, or like cows that are killed or small children. You know, that kind of thing. Big children, <clears throat> they're not covered. Also guys, follow us, <laughs> follow us, follow us on Twitter to find out when we're doing streams next. Um, yeah. If we get better feedback this time and uh, if people are happy with the format, we will be doing these more often. Mm -hmm. uh, but tomorrow we will be back to our regular scheduled programming for Thursday. Um, we are doing a regular now linked tomorrow, yes. edited. So um, yeah, like we said before, uh, we, we are trying new things out uh, because things have changed around here. We don't want to get into crazy details because those are, as interesting as they are, probably not the best to disclose in full detail. Yes. But yeah, things have changed, so we're trying new things. Uh, tomorrow will be fully edited Netlink, so if you guys like the shorter style, we will do that. But we are planning on doing more live streams of some variety. Yes. Maybe we'll like alternate. <clears throat> what do you think about alternating? Every day? Yeah. <laughs> tweet us. Uh, Follow us. Tweet us. Subscribe. Um, honestly, subscribe to you, our YouTube channel, guys, if you haven't already. I mean, it's free. And we, yeah. we try to be relevant. Subscribe to Twitch. Uh, go to our YouTube channel, uh, NCIX Tech Tips. I mean, obviously, you know about that probably if you're watching this. But uh, Also, Abstract Toast 9. We're sorry you just tuned in, but we will be posting this entire uh, video in its entirety yes. to YouTube. So. And it will be on Twitch, too, the past broadcast. Yes. So, uh, yeah, we're going to upload this to YouTube. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube, you already know that. Okay. So. Keys, please blow kiss to Jack, says Pro Lizzie. Mm. I don't know if I want to do that. Austin Crytype prefers streams. Do Monday and Wednesdays. It's going around. And it missed. <coughs> oh, it missed. I'm married, guys. I can't do that. To an actual woman. Yeah. I mean, you know, I've played around. Also, uh, Saxons, uh, neither Keys or I plays League yeah, of Yeah, no, we don't. I've play dabbled, League. but there's just so much to learn in such little time that I... Well, don't, don't bash it. Don't bash no, it. No, no, it's, it's great. From League what of Legends, I've seen. I mean, it takes From what I could understand. From what I've seen, it takes it like those, like Dota 2 and League and stuff. It, there, there's a steep learning curve. So if you want to play it, you have to like play it a lot and get good at it. And then you can play it. Um, and, and not to say it isn't fun in the beginning. You can play with your friends and stuff. But I just haven't, I don't have that ty type of time to devote to like getting good at it. Edsel, we know you like the edited videos, but... I prefer the edited videos. You don't get to say anymore. Also, Austin says he loves you because you can say his last name. Christic. Well, what's... Dota 2 or bust, says Diesel. Yeah, well... Well, I, I pretty much... I don't know. I've only... I haven't played either, so I can't say. Um, Anthony and Julia play League, so maybe yeah. we'll, like... We'll maybe... probably get them to You know what? That would be an interesting series. Them, like, <coughs> teaching us how to play League. Oh, because oh. they, they, I think you can do like 2v2. Comment yeah. below if you. If so, we... them two versus us two. No. <laughs> okay, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. 
Don't um, forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. We will see you later. Turtle, turtle. You didn't let me say turtle, turtle last time. That's oh, right. We off. have like ending, ending phrases. Turtle, turtle. Ah, oh, man. Good gravy. No, I can't do that. Central Pack. That's a good one. That's, yeah, that's, that's, that's me. If you, watch Flight of the Concords. Central Pack. Okay. Get out.